Good day guys and welcome to my State of Origin Game 3 preview. If you guys didn't know, tomorrow night will be my 150th NRL vlog on this channel. And this will be the exact outfit that I will be wearing at Suncorp Stadium for your Origin to sign. The NRL website have not updated the current team list, so there are a lot of changes to get through. Let's try and get into those changes now. I'll try and remember off the top of my head, for the most part, what's going on. But uh, as for the wing, Murray Talangi is actually out. He played game two. And Corey Oates, I believe, comes into the wing. Corey Oates is actually not on this list at all. Um, so, yeah, the NRL need to update this. But I believe Corey Oates on the wing. For the Maroons, and Cameron Munster is also ruled out. And I believe Tom Dearden will be starting at number six. I think according to Sportsbet as well, he is our number six with Daly Cherry Evans uh, in the seven. Uh, other changes to the side include Jeremiah Nane, who comes in for Cal Felice Cafusi on that right edge rather than playing on the bench. He's been great for the Cowboys all season. And our bench is Harry Grant, Jai Arrow, Patrick Carrigan, who was fantastic in game one. Uh, and he's just going to be good at Suncorp, I'm telling you. And Tom Gilbert making his Maroons debut by the bench for the Maroons. On the reserves, you've got uh, Bo Furmore from the Gold Coast Titans. Hamiso Tibuai Fidel. Sam Walker. I think it's a great thing for Sam Walker for the future of Queensland as well. I think he's going to be definitely our future half if his form continues. And having that time under camp, I think, will be really good for him and Thomas Flegler, but that is the Queensland Maroons team for 2022. Um, as we go into this decider, we're locked up at one all. We got absolutely flogged in game two, outclassed on the park at Perth. I think it was in Perth. Um, and now we head to Suncorp. We've got that home ground advantage, but a few signs of adversity, but we love to be the underdog. But let's get into this New South Wales team. So once again, a few changes for the New South Wales Blues. The first one, uh, being that Jordan McLean, who's been named in jersey number eight, will not play. And I believe it means that Jacob Saifidi, I don't know if he's starting or if he is by the bench. I would say maybe he's starting and then Paulo on the bench, but we'll wait and see how that goes. Um, besides that, not too many changes to the side. Jake Trevojevic, who was great in game two, uh, has been recalled into the squad once again for game three. James Tedesco, he always seems to have a massive... Uh, origin in the third game, so look out for a big game from him. Matt Burton and his kicking game was fantastic. It was a great uh, Blues debut in game two for Matt Burton at Perth. And Stephen Crichton has been named at centre. A lot of people were wondering whether he'd be named at centre with potential uh, Latrell, Jack Whiten chucked around there. Uh, Jack Whiten has been named as the replacement 18th man. So, yeah, it's a really good New South Wales side to go up against. They are fairly similar to the Game 2 side. Um, uh, Api Korosau, once again, in the number 9 jersey with Damian Cook in the bench. I can't wait to see that in the flesh and see the impact that he makes. I really like to analyse the game, you know me, but uh, that is the Blues side at Suncorp tomorrow night. So as I mentioned, we are locked up at one all in this series and Sportsbet has the Maroons at Massive Outsiders here, I believe. After we lost game two, we were at $2.20. We are now $3.25 and this is the best position for Queensland to be in. But if I'm thinking on paper, I think the Blues win this game. I think the Blues will definitely be too good on paper. But the thing about Queensland is that we overcome adversity and we've got some great talent from the season. A lot of Panthers and Cowboys seem to be popping up from both teams. Uh, but as for the Cowboys, a few of the Cowboys' guns are coming into this Maroons team, and it's at Suncorp. And the Blues haven't won a decider at Suncorp in six, their last six deciders they've lost. I think it goes back, if I'm not mistaken, to around 2005. So that's a that's a huge uh, mindset factor going into this game. But Nathan Cleary is favourite for man of the match after a great performance in Game 2. James Tedesco, I mentioned, a danger man. Matt Burton, a lot of strike on the park. As for the Maroons, I think Dane Gagai has to step up. 
He was okay in both the first game, but he has to do more. Caelan Pogger's been really good this series for me overall. I did pick him for man of the match in game two, and I thought he had a really good first half, and I expect a, a great performance. But DCE, I can't even tip DCE to be man of the match. I'll have five bucks on it, but I'll tell you what, I can't tip it. But at the same time, if we are to win, he has to step up. That is something that has to happen 100%. But last year, uh, game three, Ben Hunt was fantastic via the bench. He's starting at number nine. He's been out. He's been obviously in camp. Didn't get to play with the Dragons. So he'll be fired up to have a huge game after coming off a massive season. Um, it's going to be a great battle in the back row with Cam Murray and Liam Martin going up against Jeremiah Nane starting and Kurt Capewell, who's been in the Maroon side for a little bit. And then, as I mentioned, uh, sorry, the 18th man for the Blues is Jack Whiten. And it says that Thomas Flegler is the 18th man, but that's wrong because it's me. Um, but yeah. Sports bet has outsiders here, and it's a very, very tough game. And as I mentioned, the Blues probably win on paper. But my tip for this game is the Maroons by four. I'm going to go with a scoreline of 16 points to 12. I think at Suncorp, that mind factor and some of these young guns coming through can get the job done. I think it's going to be a very defensive, low-scoring game. That's what Origin is absolutely all about. And being a decider... Being thousands and thousands, including myself, of Queenslanders at the game, it's going to be a fantastic spectacle. It is my first time at Suncorp Stadium for an Origin match. I've been there for regular season matches, so I'm really looking forward to it. 16-12, I think I'm going to go with Stephen Crichton to score first. I think Stephen Crichton, I think Cleary puts in a kick, and Stephen Crichton, I think he's about $13. I'm going to back Stephen Crichton, first try scorer. If I had to pick a Maroons one, I think we can get out to that left wing um, of where Murray Talangi was. And I think Corey Oates finally getting that Maroons call up and waiting for this day. I think he could potentially score first. But I am going to tip the Queensland Maroons to upset the Blues. I think they're great value, 1 to 12 at $4.50. And the multi paying $4 that I think everyone should get on, but obviously gamble responsibly, is that the first try in this match will be scored later than eight minutes. Either team will win by 10 points or less. I do think it will be close. Even if the Blues win, I don't think it will be a blowout, but we'll wait and see. And under 44.5 total points, and that is paying a massive $4 odds. So obviously, gamble responsibly. Uh, as for a man of the match pick, I tell you what, he's coming off the bench, which makes it really hard, but I have a feeling that it could be Patrick Carrigan, he looked fantastic in game one. Um, he's had a great season so far. So, look, I, I don't know. I, I backed Kalen Ponger in game two, so I kind of don't want to back the same choice. And DCE is the Maroons' favourite at, at $8 there. So, if you think the Maroons are going to win, there's some great value. Um, other choices you could chuck in there. Valentine Holmes was great in game one. He's $46. And Ben Hunt starting in that number uh, nine. If he's making plenty of tackle, he's $26 to get man of the match in game three again. But I am going to tip the Maroons by four. Let me know your tip in the comments. I hope you guys are looking forward to a massive vlog at Suncorp tomorrow. I can't wait to go up to Queensland and beat New South Wales at Suncorp Stadium in game three of Origin. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you have watched the channel for a while, please send me a video on Instagram at The Entertain House and I will include it in tomorrow night's vlog. Uh, basically, just say your favourite video and how long you've watched the channel as I will be celebrating 150 vlogs. Thank you.